Hey everyone, it's Ruby and Ariana from So Good Lancaster. Today we sat down with two of the cast members from Prima's new upcoming postmodern musical, Soon. My name is Imani Moss um, and I am playing Charlie in Soon. My name is Matt Donzella and I play Jonah in Soon. Charlie is gonna say like a 22 year old, so has <laughs> been the same age as me, um, who lives in the Lower East Side um, and she Basically, the world is ending, and she decides to sit on her couch and watch Wolf Blitzer, um, basically the 24-hour news cycle, um, eat peanut butter, and hang out with her fish, Herschel. Um, and that's how she's choosing to ride out the world. And um, the story basically takes us on how she deals with that and how the people around her um, help influence her decision whether to live out the rest of the time she has left um, or the time they have left on her couch or going out and living life to the fullest. So I play Jonah in Soon, and Jonah is a grocery delivery boy um, who falls head over heels for Charlie, the main character of the show. He's very much an optimist. Um, he's kind of a goofball at times, and he, uh, he really wants Charlie to have the best life that she can have um, because he cares for her so much, and I think it's really heartwarming in the way that he goes about prioritizing the people that he loves around him and, and giving them the um, courage and to do the things that they want to do with their life. So yeah, I would say that's a little bit about Jonah. I am elated. Honestly, it's been a very tough year, um, well, year and a half really, for everyone. And um, I recently graduated from Temple um, for musical theater. So I'm very, very excited to be able to go out on stage and do what I have studied for, for like the past four years. So very excited, very honored, and very thankful. I feel ecstatic about it, to be completely honest. Um, it's been a long time coming. And I think a lot of us, uh, especially people in the performing arts, have been waiting at home for another opportunity to just share that space with people again um, and the electricity of live theater and the relationship between the uh, audience and the performers. So I'm really excited to do that again. Um, I can't even imagine what opening night is gonna feel like with having people in the audience again. It'll be great, I think. My favorite song in the show would probably have to be Waiting, which is sung by Jonah, um, her love interest. Um, it's basically just him talking about how he's just waiting for her to like let him in like she he's literally just waiting outside of her door um and she will not let him into the house um and it's beautifully and wonderfully written and sung by um matt donzella so i would say my favorite song in the show is when the world ends um it is one of the only big ensemble uh like choral pieces in the show where we have the whole cast singing together. And I would say I think that's part of the reason it's one of my favorites is it's that opportunity to sing with people on stage again and, and for those harmonies to lock in and it's one of those really iconic moments in a show in musical theater and I think we really get the opportunity to do that with that song. So I'm excited for the audience members to feel the energy from, from the four of us singing together. Um, I think the show has a really big message of just like, we don't know when time is up for any of us. Um, things have been really strained recently. I think the show really highlights the ability to either sit and deal with your problems in a very closed off setting or going out and living your life to the fullest and not letting the time that we may or may have left um, constrain you. I hope that people realize how precious life is and how we should do the most that we can with the time that we have. Um, we don't know how limited time is and I think that this last year really brought that to light for a lot of us um, and how precious life is. What would I do? Um, I think I would kind of in the vein of Charlie of like find a very comfortable spot for myself but I would fill it with the people I love the most and um, all of the Skittles I could find um, and movies and games and just be around people who I love and who love me and just spend that time making memories rather than just like sheltering myself out from the world. 
I think if I found out the world was ending, I would travel a lot. I, I haven't traveled a lot in my life, and I think that I would want to see as much of this world as I can if the world was ending. Um, there's a lot of things I still want to see. And I would also, there's a quote from the show, when you make things, it makes things better. And I think I would want to try to make as much as I could, make as much art as I could, and um, create those relationships with people that I've always wanted to make and make those friends I've always wanted to make. So I'd want to make as much as I can and I'd want to travel. Make sure to come out to Prima Theater October 1st through 23rd to check out the show. Seating is limited, so make sure to get your tickets soon. <laughs> nice one. <laughs>